Hello everyone! On today's episode of Tinkering with Terrius, we're going to compare the JYE Tech cap meter to the MS328P component tester. So there's been lots of videos on the accuracy of the capacitance and all sorts of things on the MS328P and I've found that it's basically good enough for anything I'm going to use it for. So we're going to use it as the baseline and we're going to test this guy out here against it. So unfortunately I don't have a capacitor reference or anything like that that is within 1% accurate or what have you. All I have is some regular capacitors lying around here. Now, theoretically these electrolytics are about all 10% capacitors so they should be within reason. And I also have a capacitance box here. It's pretty old. It does a variety of microfarads, so we can see how that compares on both of these. So for the capacitance meter, the little test point is here. It's this little header. So you've got three positive side and three negative side. We'll start with the component tester. So it looks like it's jumping 476 to 480. It's settled down at 478. So we'll take that. Turn on the capacitance tester here and it has a zero function which is handy so you can tell it to zero out and it's giving us 488 so the actual capacitor here is 470 microfarads okay, 100 microfarad the component tester is giving us 102.5 capacitance tester is giving us 103.5 I'm going to say because it keeps jumping between 103 and 104. So my little capacitance box here is currently set to 0.0001 microfarads. Component tester is getting about 113 picofarads. Let's go to the next one, which is 0 0.001, 0 0.33, and we'll go up to 0 0.01 giving us 11.19 nanofarads, 0 0.033, microfarad, so that's 100 nanofarads, and the largest measurement on this is 0.22 microfarads. It's jumping around a bit, I'm going to say it's 115 picofarads. So for the 0 0.001, Capacitor. This one is saying it has 1,020 picofarads, 3,170 picofarads. Now it is reading them out in nanofarads, but to keep it in the same units as the component tester, I'm just putting it as the picofarad value, 0 0.01 microfarad, getting 11.8 nanofarads, 0.1, getting 111 nanofarads. The highest capacitance we have, which is 0.22, this is reading at pretty darn close. We'll put it at 22.9. So it seems to have performed fairly well. And it's hard to say which of these two is more accurate. They're both fairly close. But I'll include a table here comparing the two. I think the capacitor meter here will come in very handy. It's easier to hook up and it doesn't take nearly as long to get a reading. It's not quite as detailed but it'll definitely be a useful little bit of kit. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Tinkering with Terrius and found it useful. I just wanted to let you all know that hopefully I'll be back to the regular schedule of Tinkering with Terrius on Thursdays and possibly Terrius Talks Tech every other Tuesday. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. If you want to share this video with your friends, go ahead. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.